Welcome on in, everybody. Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. Hope you guys can subscribe. If not, thanks for stopping by. Uh, big news yesterday around the Miami Heat game. They lost to the Chicago Bulls. They'll try and get right on Saturday in the rematch against Chicago. And hopefully, this is going to be the last game they don't have Tyler Hero for a while. Tyler Hero revealing to reporters before the game. Um, I imagine this was in the locker room. I was, uh, I was, I, I was not in the locker room when I saw this, but but you can go in the locker room beforehand. And uh, several reporters saying uh, Tyler Hero is targeting either Monday against the Timberwolves or Wednesday against the Orlando Magic on the road, and he is targeting those one of those two dates as his return date. He has been, uh, he has only played eight games this season. And he's been out since when he got hurt against the Memphis Grizzlies and they need him. You know, this has been, uh, this is, uh, you know, a very, very exciting thing for the Miami heat to get Tyler back because they need the offensive firepower. They need the consistency. They need guys to close games. They need a guy who can be a go-to guy. And it certainly takes some, some pressure off of Jimmy Butler. You know, I think that's been one of the things there's been some talk about, you know, is Jimmy wearing down? Is Jimmy and uh, look? There's been games where I've watched Jimmy and I don't. You know, I thought ah, Jimmy doesn't have quite the lift tonight. He doesn't get those baby those baby bunnies that he always seems to get. The touch around the rim isn't quite there. But the man is just got iron will and just will. Uh, he will force his way to 19, 20 points. However, it is possible. He will. He will get his way there. He will tough his way there. But you would like to make life easier on him. And I do think that there's a, a little bit of Jimmy Butler thinking to himself, it's December 15th, and I'm not going against double teams and trees right now all the time to uh, to force the issue when I feel like I can get my teammates involved. He's been very good at that. Uh, he's he's on a very, you know, he's on a, on a huge hot streak distributing the basketball, getting teammates involved. Find them for open threes. It's always been part of his game, but he's been particularly seeking it out because teams are trying to take him away. And so bringing Tyler Hero back will be absolutely huge. And it's going to be fun to see because, as we all know, this was a monster year for Tyler from an expectation standpoint. He dealt with a lot in the offseason and was off to a fantastic start. You know, they, uh, had a couple wins, you know, they of course had the bad start where they were one and four. And then uh, Miami started rolling again, getting some wins against the Lakers. And then all of a sudden he gets to this game against the Memphis Grizzlies falls on Jaron Jackson's ankle and devastating. You know, you, you never want to see that. These have been fluke injuries with Tyler hero too, you know? So this whole idea of like, Injury prone, any of that stuff. This guy has been, you know, broken hand, diving for a ball, going for a floater. Dude's leg is there. That's just that's just rotten luck. And I'm excited to see what he can bring because this is, you know, a, a time where only 23 years old, but going to be 24 in about a month, a little over a month. Uh, so. What is it, you know, what is it, is it going to take a little bit for him to get going? Does he come back guns blazing? Did they slow roll this so he is all the way back back? Which I hope is the way that they did go with this because from the timetable we were initially given to now, it's a little bit over that time. You know, we're, we're talking if he does come back December 18th, it's about a month and change. It's a, it's it's a, it's about six weeks since he since he got hurt against the Memphis Grizzlies. But I, I do feel like we are kind of hitting the we're hitting that that part of the season where it's like, hey, the we have enough thing is cool, but you do need to get your ponies back. And you do need to go into a point where you need consistency from having hopefully everybody all the way here. And it is interesting because you know Look, I'm not like this anymore because I'm a changed guy. You know, I think you guys know that. I'm not. I'm not putting on the will, captain's hat anymore. I don't even have my captain's hat. I don't even know what happened to it. I, I, I you know, I still have my toy orca. I'm not. You know, he's still here, but you know, he's. You know, I just made a mess of things. But he's hot. You know, he's hiding. You know, he's not. He just wants. Hey, 
just want Tyler Hero to work out. I do not want to go after Spider Mitchell, Zach Levine, any Chicago Bulls for that matter. I may take a gander at Anthony Edwards knowing that's something about five years down the road. And do not tag me on any Lori Market and stuff. Not harpooning anymore. Ah. All right. Thank you, buddy. So Orky the Orca, he's out of the game. We're out of the game right now. And what we want out of anything out of all of this is for Tyler here to work out. Look, put all my eggs in the Dame basket. Did not work out. Now, Damian Lillard is stuck in Milwaukee. He's going to freeze his ass off this winter with a psycho who's going after game balls for from uh, f- from the Indiana Pacers, stealing from rookies, Giannis Antetokounmpo, as if he doesn't have enough accolades his entire life. But, you know, you, 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 you are where you, where you were comfortable making a stink with Dame. Once that thing is over, I had to look myself in the mirror. And what, my, what that mirror told me is, you got to stop doing this. You're going to make yourself mental. We were chasing down every rumor, every every lead, and even today, I'm getting, oh, Tobes, look at the Spider Mitchell stuff. It's all on. Did you see what Sham said? Do you see what he said? And you got uh, Darius Garland as a broken face, and you have Evan Mobley's out for eight weeks, and maybe the Cavs are going to go into a tailspin, and they don't know if Spider's going to be staying, and we know Spider and Bam besties, right? But I'm not that guy anymore. We already did Spider. I thought we were getting Spider last summer. I can't just keep going back to the well. Okay. I like my guys right now. I'm sitting here. I like rooting for Jaime Jaquez Jr. I like rooting for everybody we got on this squad. I like rooting for Bam. I like rooting for Tyler. I want to see this Tyler thing out. All right. Yeah. I was there and I was like, oh, I, I, I. it was a weird summer with Tyler because it was like, in all these rumors, but also I didn't like people disrespecting him. And I also don't buy into the fact that they went on a run in the finals without him because they didn't have him out there. Um, I think they could have benefited with him having him later in the playoffs for sure. They didn't. So I am very curious to see what this turns into. You know, people I know people were like, uh, oh, he was on an all star pace. Played eight games. You know, it's it, it, we got to I don't know if this was going to be an all star season. I think if the Heat were to have an all star right now, um, you know, where the record is, they're probably only going to get one all star. I think it's been bam, even with the injuries. I think that's the very clear pick for the Heat. But maybe Tyler Hero can just go on a crazy pace. It's going to be tough. I mean, he's a guard, you know, with Dame and with Halliburton and, um, you know, Boston's obviously going to get a ton of dudes. I, you know, it's probably going to be hard for Tyler to make the All Star game, but all that has to be put aside. You know, the bigger goal is for him continue the improvement on the scoring, keep that high pace up, and then not only that, but be in a spot where you are a key component in the playoffs. This is the fun thing about it: is, is can he contribute in the postseason? That's what we want to see. That's what we want to know. Even he would admit that. Even he has admitted that. And so that's why it's so exciting to see where this goes with him. Not only do they need the firepower from him, not only is this a big year for him in his career because he gets to go and prove, is he worth the contract? Is he amongst these young guards like he says he is? You know, can the improvement and all that work that he put in, will it come to fruition like it was and looked like it was early on in this year? Or, or, is he is who people think he is to, to quote the, the 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 late great Denny Green? I don't think so. I think that improvement is there. He's too young, too talented. Um, seems to have put in a ton of work. This was just a bump in the road. So it, it is going to be very exciting to see where this goes for him and for Miami to get him back. I think it's going to be electric. I'm honestly very excited because think about this. I know people will always go to, well, what are they going to do when he comes back with Duncan Robinson and Jaime? And I don't think that this is going to be, I don't think this is a problem. I think this is a good thing because, mind you, we would we said that the Miami Heat were deeper this year, but we didn't really know it yet. You know, we didn't know what you were going to get from everybody. But I think we can unequivocally, unequivocally say, I don't know if I nailed that word, I think we can 
for sure say that they are now, and especially getting Tyler and Bam back, um, that that depth does look like a huge strength for Miami. And so you add Tyler Hero. I've seen some debate. Is he going to come off the bench? I would find that surprising. I think that they are going to put him back in the starting lineup. And, you know, Duncan will likely go to the bench. And from there, you know, they'll figure it out. I think Duncan Robinson on the bench is fine. I think he's going to fit great with any of these units. And I think that's honestly a, another growth in Duncan's game. You know, I I, always, I thought one of the differences between him and Struess was Struess could be made for either bench or could be could be bench, could be started. He could do either. Uh, and and I do think now Duncan has hit that spot. I think he could do either. I could I think he could fit in with anybody. I think he does fit in with anybody. I think his communication's great. I was saying this yesterday. I thought that he should have played down the stretch yesterday. He's been that damn good. So. But I, I don't think that Tyler Hero's not going to start. I don't think they're going to slow roll this and bring him off the bench. Um, I don't even necessarily agree that it's the best thing to do, bringing him off the bench. I think they have their their guy. We have the guy who is the cooker off the second unit right now, and it's and it's Jaime. Jaime and, and Kevin Love there, the UCLA, the Brew Crew, the Bruins connection there. There's something about it. There's something about those two guys coming in. They, they seem to have got some kind of flame like you bring in uh Duncan Robinson in addition to those guys with Caleb or with uh Jay Rich whatever it may be hell man there's something that that there's there's a lot of there's there's something there there's something there so this is exciting and obviously hopefully the bam return accompanies this as well and we and we can finally be whole again at least for some kind of a run I know this will probably mean more uh, off days for Jimmy just to kind of get him right as well. Uh, Kyle's been great. Kyle's been super durable this year. You got to give that up to him. But, yeah, man, I'm not worried about Tyler Hero disrupting anything. The Heat, like, look, the Heat are not number one in the East right now. Are you going to talk about, oh, is this going to rock the boat? Dude, there are a few games over 500. They need Tyler Hero back, and they need Tyler Hero to be good. So this is an exciting thing to get Boy Wonder's return.